So I try to do videos as soon as they come into my mind and I would like to acknowledge that they're not extremely well edited or anything like that. In fact, I don't know editing and they're not as fancy as other videos you can watch. But I try to concentrate on truth and exposing the hoax lie system. Now this article here tells you that it was September the 9th 1956 that Elvis Presley will make the first appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show. Now many people do not realize that even though it was called the Ed Sullivan Show, Ed Sullivan was not hosting at the time. And he had the British actor Charles Lockton present Elvis to the world. Incidentally, I'm suspicious of Charles Lockton is actually being Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> That's another video, but I haven't done the research yet. I just said I'm suspicious. So why was it that Ed Sullivan did not host? Supposedly, he was in a tragic car accident. Now I want to tell you something. That was a cover story. And here's why. Because in August of 1956 on the West Coast the Republican National Convention was occurring. Now the Ed Sullivan Show is in New York East Coast, and it's 1956. Therefore, Ed Sullivan needs to go to the West Coast because he plays the role of Richard Nixon. Along with Clark Gable playing Eisenhower. Now, a lot of people will say something like, Well, that couldn't be true because Ed Sullivan didn't have any acting skills. That's a lie. He, pre he presented himself as a bumbling idiot introducing guests. And his voice was taken up a couple of octaves <laughs> or whatever. So the world didn't realize that Richard Nixon was Ed Sullivan. That's why. So he has this phony car accident and he's not available to host his own show when the biggest performer in rock history makes his debut, that is Elvis. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I, get, I get so many things open and so many thoughts. I know, you're skeptical. It's alright, you can be skeptical. And I'm not about proving things to people. I'm about just showing research. Now this individual here is on this format called Reddit. And I'm not familiar with it at all. But I would like to highlight this individual. Whoever you are, you are correct.
And if you have access to this forum, please tell this individual that I said he is absolutely correct. Richard Nixon was Ed Sullivan. Now, one of the comments that he makes, or someone else makes, excuse me, is that their mannerisms and the voice are very close. Now, somewhere on my videos, most likely it's on Who is Who and Hoaxology, I will show you some nonverbal, the way Ed Sullivan would stand upright and fold his arms together is identical to the way in which Richard Nixon would stand and fold his arms together. Now another thing that I tend to look at, and it's not as convincing as other pieces of evidence, but it's basically the hair pattern. So take a look at the hair pattern of Mr. Sullivan. And take a look at the hair pattern of Mr. Nixon. In my viewpoint, their hair patterns are, are identical. Now, Sullivan presented himself as kind of bumbling idiot but he wasn't. And everybody that talks about Sullivan in the interviews will say he had no acting ability whatsoever. Incorrect. That was a cover story. Why? Because he played Richard Nixon. Well, anyhow, I've done some other videos on it and you can look them up but basically you have the car accident and I tried to copy and paste this thing and I wasn't too successful but it was in the New York Times and it's rather blurry it's not going to come out very good but this would have been the article in the New York Times telling you about the car accident. Then they have some phony pictures of Ed Sullivan in the hospital. Okay, so it would have been in August or early, August or early September of 56. I'm not sure the exact date. Again, I apologize that everything is blurry. But better blurry information than no information. I'm not about perfection in videos. I'm about truth. And I'm telling you, to the best of my ability, that indeed, Richard Nixon was played by Ed Sullivan. Now I have another video on this. Actually I have two or three. Uh, and I believe if you go to my channel Who is Who in Hoaxology you might discover them. But I like to give shouts out and praise to others and praise to this individual here on this Reddit channel. For your work, you absolutely are correct there, my friend. On Reddit. 
I don't go on that thing. I don't know anything about it. I don't have access to it. I was going to try to leave a comment. But I don't want to sign up for anything. I'm on UETube. It's good enough for me. And people out there don't have too much access to my videos because the uh, the powers that be, the logarithms, the, uh, the patterns that are established by the computer systems forbid high numbers to come to any of my channels. But that's okay. And I'll tell you why it's okay. You are listening. Especially if you're listening to the end of this video. So, once again, Richard Nixon <laughs> was played by none other than Ed Sullivan. Who was in a car accident, supposedly, and was not able to host September the 9th, 1956, the big appearance of Elvis. Why? Because he was at the Republican Convention on the West Coast, San Francisco, in August of 1956, alongside Eisenhower, who is just Clark Gable. So now you know why Ed Sullivan did not present Elvis Presley to Television World in 1956. Because he was out there in full dress in his other costume Richard Nixon vice presidential candidate 1956 later president of the United States just another phony just another fake just another deception. Well, if you got to the end of this video, thank you. And let me just say, never mind politics, local, state, county, or federal. Only mind one form of government the government by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're told in prophet Isaiah, the government will be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only true authority the rest of these authorities that have been presented to you in history are phony. And Jesus Christ is the one who can rule your life. Not these fakers. Not these phonies. Now if you can grasp that and you can really get hold of it, then none of this really matters at all. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.